Now the moment we've all been waiting for. The fluids are topped off, fuel in the tank, we're gonna power it up, turn the key. Man, she sounds pretty healthy, doesn't she? Let's show you why. We're gonna start at the back and move all the way to the front, show you everything we did to button this thing together. We were able to keep the existing exhaust, and you can do the same, whether it's a cat back or dumps like we have here. And bolted them up to the massive BBK X pipe, and then bolted that to the BBK long tube headers just for 79 to 04 Coyote swaps. For the drivetrain, we used a Ford Racing aluminum drive shaft, and we retained the bell housing transmission clutch and flywheel that were already in the car with the 4.6. That's a quick time bell housing with a Tremec 3550 transmission, the 11 inch clutch, and 11 inch 8 bolt flywheel that were already in the car. To keep the transmission steady in the car, we tapped stifflers for one of their tubular cross members, that way we could clear that massive BBK X pipe. Moving up to the front, we ran into a little interference, so to speak, both revolving around the sway bar. One was the oil filter. We needed to go ahead, move the oil filter to a remote location, and to do that, we used the Ford Racing remote oil filter adapter. Over on the other side, we tried to use the Ford Racing power steering pump bracket, which would work great on a street rod or maybe some other vehicle not running a stock sway bar, but if you're in a Fox or SN95, New Edge, and you want to keep your sway bar, man, that bracket's not going to work. So we went to our SVE accessory drive kit, which actually moved the alternator from the driver's side, spun it around, put it in front of the motor on the passenger side, and then kept the power steering pump in the stock 96 to 04 location. This allowed us to use the factory pump and keep the factory hoses from the hydro boost into the rack. For the brakes, you've got two options. Either go with a manual brake conversion, or if you're working with a 96 to 04 Mustang like we are, you can retain the stock Hydro Boost. 79 to 95 Mustangs can be converted to Hydro Boost by sourcing all of the parts from a wrecked 96 to 04 GT or Cobra. The engine harness that comes on the Ford Racing crate motor plugs right into the PCM for the control pack. To connect our braided fuel line to the stock fuel rail on the crate motor, we used one of our adapter fittings, which is a simple push-on installation. The existing clutch cable routed around the Coyote 5 liter just like it did with the 4.6 it replaced. Cooling system retained the existing degas reservoir as well as the radiator. We were able to use the upper radiator hose included in the FRPP control pack. The lower hose, however, did not work. After some careful searching, we did come up with a solution, but, and when doing a swap like this, there's always a but, we did have to fab up a little shield to keep the hose out of the power steering pulley. Because of the driver's side air inlet location of the Coyote motor, you will also have to install a battery relocation kit. You can't really relocate the air inlet to the passenger side because of the upper radiator hose, and you can't run a 79 to 85 battery location on the passenger side because of interference with the valve cover. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more on this project, and check out latemodelrestoration.com for all of your Coyote swap needs.